All right, it is another Hello Again Wednesday, and uh, I sound a little bit loud right here. Hello Again Wednesday, number 68. I know you're going, where's his picture? On like Sunday, we're transitioning. I'm going to, I'm doing it from downstairs, okay? We're about to have a, uh, our Bible study at uh, 2 p.m., and so I'm looking at the screen where we're having our Zoom, along with those that are sitting down here with us, and so I'm just kind of doing some rearranging and stuff and i'm going to do uh this episode downstairs here and so with hello again wednesday first of all i want to thank you thanks for joining me again uh this wednesday as in every wednesday and right around this afternoon time or whenever it is that you're watching this i just want to say thanks for joining me on some of the quips that i have some of the bits that i have and uh well i sure appreciate it and if you would just kind of follow uh on my web on my facebook page um you can also see it on my youtube channel which is brent miller what's on his mind um you can see all that but most of all besides following and liking them please share the videos and not only that but um i'm always asking a question and i i would really appreciate if you um joined in there's a few that do um week after week join in the conversation and just kind of little stories that I'm looking for that you guys have and just to enjoy, okay? And so share those stories as I share uh, my stories with you. And on Sunday, especially even at church, as I was uh, kind of promoing this, I told them right away that this week is about jalapeno Cheetos. And so the question of the day then is, uh, what is, what is your favorite chip okay what is your favorite chip and i have at the beginning of this segment there were some pictures i had uh jal the jalapeno cheetos uh and then it also had ruffles originals chips and it had these uh pretzel chips which are really uh good that i like they're called they're flat and those they would be great for dipping in chocolate as well as eating plain. But that was the opening little photo that you saw um, that I had running, and on it was the jalapeno uh, Cheetos. And you know, I'm telling you, I have come to really like uh, those Cheetos. Um, I've had the hot flaming Cheetos, and I'm not a fan. I've had uh, uh, the hot Takis, I think is how they call them. Uh, I'm not really a fan, and but the jalapeno Cheetos, man, those are phenomenal. Um, in my opinion, and I'll, I'll get into it just a sec. Um, the thing about jalapenos, um, I have, uh, you know, I'm a pepper fan. I love green peppers, the, the colored peppers. I know those aren't hot. Um, I love the banana peppers. I think that's what, especially Papa John's used to throw banana peppers in with their pizzas and stuff, and and we had a lot of people that would not like, eat them, but man, I did. I loved them, and so I I eat them right down to the stem. Um, I love those uh, peppers, and then to even eat some jalapenos, um, man, I enjoy the heat. I regret it a little later, but man, I enjoy the heat. And along with that, uh, uh, in the jalapeno sense, Red Robin, and would make these. They call them jalapeno coins. And I would have to fight Sophia, my granddaughter, who just loves those things too. And uh, lately we've been mighty disappointed with Red Robin. They put jalapenos on burgers, but they no longer are making the jalapeno coins for whatever reason, I don't know. But uh, boy, we are really missing those, those jalapeno coins and stuff. And so, um, anyways, big jalapeno fan. I love the 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 cheddar jalapeno chip uh, uh cheetos now before i go further with that one um it, it just a lot of times when i'm telling stories it, it it makes me uh reminisce reminisce to uh some things in the past and uh one of them would be this in rockford illinois where i, I was born and raised in rockford illinois um there was a and i i hope some of the people that are watching will help me out here I do believe it's called Fishers or it's called 
Mrs. Fisher's. And I know there's a Mrs. Fisher's chips. And so I'm just trying to remember because it was a factory in Rockford that would make these chips. And um, my dad would take me and my brother and stuff down to, to the factory. And man, you go in and we would come out with a bucket. I mean, a five gallon bucket of these crunchy, uh, homemade, uh, uh, freshly made chips. And so uh, that was one of the things that we enjoyed because then you just pop that lid, grab a big old handful of chips and uh, just start crunching away on those chips. And so, uh, uh, you know, me and Trent, we just, we, we, we really love those. Um, as my dad was taking us down down there to them and stuff. And it was just a, a memory of eating those chips. And so I think the factory uh, is still there. And it might not even be Fishers. It might be called... You ever had where names just start flooding your mind? It might, might have been Vintners or... Uh, I'm not sure. That might have been uh, uh, Ginger Ale up in Mi Michigan. I'm not sure. It was the chip factory, though, that made some wonderful chips in uh, Rockford, Illinois, as we bought them. Now, later on in life, because uh, this is way back, but later on in life, you would find uh, all over the place now uh, kettle, cook, kettle cooked chips, which are really crunchy. Um, those, I really like those. There was a place, I believe, down in, uh, oh man, there's a couple of things now, down in Pekin, Illinois. In central Illinois, there was, I believe, Kettle Kitchen chips were down there. And if it wasn't Kettle Kitchen chips, there was some a, another chip factory called Old Salties or something like that, which made some really crunchy chips and some good chips and stuff like that. So those were kind of some chips that I was uh, really, really enjoying um, later on in life. And you could find them all over. Um, but those Kettle kind of cooked chips are uh, really good. Chips played a huge role in, in my life. I'll just say it this way. I can remember, I, I, maybe not the exact grade. There was one year, my lunch for a school year consisted of one thing in a brown bag lunch. It consisted of a peanut butter sandwich. It was either a hostess a, a blueberry pie or maybe a blueberry pop tart. I know there were blueberry pop tarts in my high school years. Um, it might've been a blueberry pop tart or a blue, hostess blueberry pie and a uh, Ziploc bag of Ruffles chips. That was my lunch every day for an entire school year. That's how I had my lunch um, when I was brown bagging it. And so I'm very, very fond of uh, those kinds of chips, you know? And so now coming up to uh, the jalapeno chips, you know what? It, it it starts off this way. Jalapeno chips, they're addicting. Or, eh, let's just say, probably for some of you, chips are addicting. But these jalapeno ch cheddar Cheetos, they were addicting to me, addicting to me in this sense. You know, I would start off with um, when I, uh, one of the kids got them, you know, and it was in those little single serve bags, you know, just those tiny ones. And I, I looked at, no one was eating it. I was looking at it, looking at it, looking at it. Finally, I cracked one open and man, I had to have enough. So I was like one, two, three bags of those tiny little bags of chips that um, I was uh, just loving them. And then I'm uh, telling Ashley, uh, my daughter, about these chips and stuff. Man, you got to try these. These are really great um, because we had the conversation. Ready? Speaking of chips, uh, Cheetos was making some really good uh, cheese popcorn. And at one point in time, I believe they had a cheese popcorn that actually had caramel corn in with it. And some of you are like, no way. That is a awesome taste. Cheese popcorn with caramel popcorn. I know I probably told this story before in the past. My grandma, my, uh, my grandma used to uh, buy these cans of popcorn at Christmas time. They had the three butter, caramel, and, and cheddar. And at that time, they, they didn't have them in separate bags. They had a, like a cardboard that was separated. And if the cardboard got jogged at the bottom of the, of the bucket, man, you'd have that hodgepodge of popcorn together. And man, who knows? We were inventing something because cheddar popcorn and caramel popcorn, awesome. That's up there in my line of chips right there. 
But as I began eating these uh, <clears throat> these cheddar jalapeno chips um, as an addiction, man, it you, you, I learned very quickly. You had to learn two things. You had to learn to uh, uh, know when to say no, and you also had to learn when to roll that bag up and put it away. <laughs> Okay, that's that's how you can enjoy without losing the pleasure. Okay, and so then uh, with those, uh, one last thing. Alrighty, it's kind of like that that old KFC, the Kentucky Fried Chicken phrase, way back, way back. It's finger licking good. That's how you put. I mean, if if you eat cheddar, if you eat Cheetos, you know what I'm talking about, or cheese popcorn, you know what I'm talking about. Your fingers get that orange. Okay that's all over it and you're looking at the end of, of your event of eating what do i do and and so with the cheddar jalapeno ones there's green with specks excuse me they're, they're uh orange with specks of green in them and you're like ah and it's finger licking good that's how good it is so hey for today what is your favorite chip or your favorite chip memory that is a story that you have to tell I would love to read your comments and your stories that you have with your chips and what goes with those uh, that uh, your chip story. Okay, um, so make sure you write. Make sure you uh, leave those comments down below. Make sure you share the video. That would be great too. And uh, um, I'm always grateful that you guys are always watching. It is a little bit after one here on the West Coast, and it is soon to be. Uh, our Bible study, we do an afternoon Bible study on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. And we do it two ways. We do it, um, or excuse me, simultaneously. We do it in person down here in our fellowship area. And we also do it via Zoom so we can have many more come in contact and, uh, and join in the conversation. And the conversation is in the book of Acts. And I believe, oh, I stairs now. It's, uh, I can't remember. Um, I saw a nine on my notes. And so um, we're in the book of Acts. Pastor Mark is leading us through that uh, study that we're doing every Wednesday right now. And that is where we're at. If you can't join us in person or you can't join us via Zoom, hey, check out a church near you. Who knows? Maybe they got some jalapeno cheddar, jalapeno cheddar Cheetos that they have as a snack that night. Check it out and uh, be sure and have a good time. Thanks for joining me, and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you uh, via the uh, what I'm doing here uh, on Hello Again Wednesday. Let me give you another picture of that as we are going out.